Hey guys, welcome to Wrestling Days and welcome to Australia. We are here in Australia, sort of, uh, getting ready for the Super Showdown, WWE Super Showdown. This is my WWE Super Showdown predictions video. Uh, this is a massive show uh, coming from Australia, Melbourne, Australia, from the M. CG, the Melbourne Cricket Ground, that venue can hold 100,000 people. No idea if they're looking for those kind of numbers. I don't know how many tickets WWE have made available. Um, but this is going to be weird. This is going to feel different because whenever WWE have a stadium show, it's normally in an American football stadium, which is a rectangle but the MCG is a cricket ground, so that is like a massive circle. So if you put the ring in the middle, doesn't matter how you walk to it, it's going to be a long walk, and you're going to have a lot of field uh, around it, and then you're going to have these massive stands uh, in the distance as well, stands that can hold a 100 thousand people in them. Uh, so this is going to be like nothing you've seen. Uh, I am so excited for this show uh, because it's going to have such a different feel. Uh, and it's going to be upside down because it's in Australia. So <laughs> I'm joking, of course, I'm joking. Uh, we are live streaming on Saturday uh, during this event. Uh, I want to give you my reactions and thoughts and uh, we can do predictions. I'm going to do figure giveaways. It's going to be a lot of fun. Make sure that you join us uh, here on the Wrestling Days YouTube channel uh, this Saturday. I think it starts like 4 a.m., 5 a.m. Eastern time in America. It's like 9 a.m., 10 a.m. Uh, here in the UK. Um, I mean, back in the UK. Uh, and, uh, yeah, it's such a weird start time. Uh, everything about this show is weird. Uh, we've got The Undertaker coming back. Uh, and Shawn Michaels. It's weird, but I can't wait because it's different. Uh, and so I think we're in for a really fun show. Uh, let's get straight to the card, shall we? Let's have a look. First match, Becky Lynch versus Charlotte Flair. For the SmackDown Live Women's Championship. The plan, rumoured plan, is that we're getting Charlotte Flair against Ronda uh, Rousey at WrestleMania next year. So uh, you would expect Charlotte to win. But the reaction uh, that Becky has been receiving from the crowd has been so overwhelmingly positive. Uh, people have loved her heel turn that I can see them keeping the title on Becky for quite some time. I think she will drop it before WrestleMania, but I think she's got a good couple of months in her. Uh, I don't see her dropping it here. Next match, we've got Asuka and Naomi taking on the Iconics. Uh, the Iconics, obviously, from Australia. Uh, and I think that is why they are going to win. Uh, the Iconics uh, are, you know, have always been together. Uh, even down in NXT, they're the best of friends. I think they went to the same high school. Uh, they started on the main roster at the same time. They, they are a unit. Uh, whereas Naomi and Asuka have only just recently been thrown together. Uh, and also, because of this being in Australia, that's surely got to give the Iconics an advantage. So I think I think it makes more sense for the Iconics to win and then that sets something up for Evolution and obviously Survivor Series a little further down the road. Next match, uh, we have got the New Day taking on the bar uh, for the SmackDown Live Tag Team Championships. Uh, obviously, we saw on SmackDown Live this week that the bar... Uh, embarrassed Mr. Bootyworth uh, by tipping the pancake mixture all over him. I think the New Day, the current champions, will get that revenge on behalf of Mr. Bootyworth. He might be there. He might get some revenge himself. Uh, but I expect the New Day to retain. That brings us to the SmackDown Live uh, Championship or the WWE Championship. 
uh, match, I should say. This is champion AJ Styles against Samoa Joe, and I expect AJ to retain. The reason I expect AJ to retain is I think this has been a very good feud, but we know that the winner of this is going to face the winner of um, Daniel Bryan against The Miz. I think The Miz will win that match. That is then going to set up down the road AJ Styles versus The Miz for the WWE Championship. Mouth-watering match. Can't wait for that encounter. And I think The Miz will win that. Obviously, that's further down the road. Uh, but I think The Miz will win that because I think Daniel Bryan will win the Royal Rumble next year. Uh, and then I think we get Bryan versus The Miz for the WWE Championship at WrestleMania. Uh, so I am like booking way in advance here. I'm getting way ahead of myself. Uh, but that's fun to do sometimes. Uh, but that's why I think that AJ will beat Samoa Joe. And I think The Miz will beat Daniel Bryan. Next, we've got the Cruiserweight Championship match. This is current champion Cedric Alexander taking on Buddy Murphy. Buddy Murphy, obviously from Australia. That's why I think Buddy Murphy wins. Uh, I just think it'd be a great moment. A title change uh, at this massive show uh, just makes sense. I, I just think it makes sense to do it there. Uh, I think that Cedric Alexander's done okay as champion. Um, this is high profile, title change, get people talking. Uh, be a nice moment for Buddy Murphy. I just don't see any reason why they wouldn't do it. So I think Buddy Murphy uh, wins the Cruiserweight title here. Uh, next we've got The Shield taking on Braun Strowman, Dolph Ziggler and uh, Drew McIntyre. I think The Shield win, but I think there's going to be something around Dean Ambrose. I don't know, I can't quite tell if he's going to turn heel yet. It feels too soon. I feel like they've got way more that they could do. Uh, I'd love to see The Shield against Sanity. Uh, obviously, The Shield against Undisputed Era. That is just... I can't even begin to get my head around how epic that is. That's incredible. They have to do that match. The Shield versus the Undisputed Era. Um, but, with all of that being said, I think that The Shield win here... Uh, they beat the Dogs of War. Uh, I'm not sure what they go on to do after this. Um, but I just, I don't, I can't see the Shield losing this war. They've never lost a war. The Shield always find a way of, uh, they might lose the battle here and there, but they never lose a war. And I don't think they will lose this feud to the Dogs of War. So, uh, yes, I'm saying the Shield win. Next, we've got the Bella Twins and Ronda Rousey taking on the Riot Squad. Uh, I think that uh, the Bellas and Ronda will win. Uh, I don't see them giving Ronda a uh, defeat on a big stage like this. So, I think that they win. But then I think Nikki turns on Ronda. The rumour is that we're getting Ronda Rousey versus Nikki Bella at Evolution. Uh, and that isn't that far away. So something's got to happen. So I'm keeping a close eye out on uh, that situation. But I expect Ronda and the Bellas uh, to be successful here. Two matches left. We've got uh, Bobby Lashley and John Cena against Elias and Kevin Owens. I, I just think this is to get names on the show. This doesn't really interest me, if I'm being honest. Uh, I think it's an easy win for Bobby Lashley and John Cena. The team of Bobby Lashley and John Cena should not lose this match. Uh, so I am expecting them to come out victorious in this. And then that brings us to the big one, the main event. The Undertaker versus Triple H for the last time ever. Uh, I... Oh, it's really tough because... Part of me thinks that Triple H will win because he lost three times against The Undertaker at WrestleMania. So Triple H could easily get the victory here. 
But then saying that, I feel that Shawn Michaels is going to get involved. Uh, that's going to then bring Kane in, and then that's going to set up uh, the Brothers of Destruction against DX uh, potentially next month. So uh, this storyline is, is going to continue. I don't think this is um, going to be the end of all of this. So I'm going to say... I'm going to say that... Triple H wins, but there's going to be an all-out war between these two teams. Brothers of Destruction and DX, and that sets up a big tag match at potentially WWE Crown Jewel. Awesome, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments below. Uh, let me know if you like the video. Give it a like. Hit the subscribe if you haven't already, and hopefully I see you on that live stream this Saturday. See you there, guys.